Right, so we're playing Town Remastered on Black Ops 3, but every single round, something is going to change. We're using the Cause and Effect mod, and as you can see, when a power-up spawns, active weapon gets random attachments. Okay, so um, I assume we're not going to get a drop on round one, but we'll see. Also, can we just appreciate how goddamn gorgeous this map looks? Oh my god, I've not played Town on BO3 in a long time, and it genuinely looks fucking sick, actually. Oh god, these fucking exploding zombies. I don't miss you, though. We put a zombie counter on. I also removed the perk limit because I thought, you know, it would be kind of neat. When a gumball is eaten, the mystery box moves. Okay, well, I don't think there's a gobble gum machine anywhere, which is probably good. Ow, I'm burning my feet. M14 on the wall. Let's go. So this is a really, really cool mod. You guys really enjoyed the last one, so I thought we'd give it another try. Ow, with the fucking fire zombies, dude. Oh god, the explosions, bro. I'm gonna fucking die. Where is the box? It's in there. Oh. Ow. Burning alive. All right, let's go and hit the box once. We've got galvan knuckles we can actually work towards as well. All right, gimme, gimme. Oh, wait, we don't even get points for... Okay, we can't even lie down by that. We've got the Type 25. I'll take it. This looks like a very faithful BO2 remaster of tra of Town, anyway. It's not Town reimagined, it's just Town remastered. Well, since there's no gobble gum, let's uh, just go on to the next round. Right, round done. When a gumball is eaten, give a random gun. Wait, again with the gumballs, dude? But there's no fucking gobble gum machine. I'm being trolled by the fucking mod, bro. Ooh, double taps looking nice and shiny over here. Oh, is that a Wonderfizz machine up there? I just saw some lightning. Oh yeah, it is, but wait, oh, it's in there, okay, nice, 2,500 points, bro. That's quite expensive, to say the least. We've got a double points, that's gonna help. Actually, hopefully get towards Jug. Alright, when a player reloads, wall buys are randomized. Oh my god, I've got to reload right now. What's it gonna turn, what's the M14 turned into? Uh, oh, the prices are randomized. What the fuck? So the M14 is 980 points. What about if I reload again? How much is it now? 500. Oh, oh my God. I almost died. Jesus Christ. I was too busy fucking looking at the prices. Oh, 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 that scared the shit out of me. And I reloaded again. Oh, it's 530 now. It's so weird. That's so strange. I guess if there's like a really OP war buy, it will just be like super cheap. You keep on reload spamming. Also, we just leveled up. Nice. Thank you, boy client. Type 25 is putting in some work. Where's this last zombie? Oh, we fucking... I can barely see them from over here. There we go. When a player gets a headshot, wall buys are randomized. Okay, this is the one I thought the last one was. But our wall buys are going to completely change. A jug, at least. So yeah, this is an MP5 for 980 points. So what's it going to fucking turn into? If we can actually get any zombie spawns. Oh, we don't have the little uh, yellow circle here because there's no visual glitch in this window. If you guys played BO2 Town, you'll know what I mean. All right, here we go. Well, that was a headshot, I think. Oh, Jesus, hi. What is the MP5 now? Oh, it's still the MP5? Is my aim just bad? Oh, yeah, it's still the MP5. What the fuck? Maybe it doesn't work on certain custom wall buys. Maybe that's it. Oh, no, this is the M14 now. What the... F I guess my aim did just suck. Oops. What is it now? The MP5 again. Okay. I guess it, like, just alternates between back and forth. Yeah, now it's the Olympia. Maybe it's all the existing wall buys, and there's not exactly that many, so... When a player gets a headshot, active weapon gets random attachments. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm wondering if that's even going to work on the BO2 guns, though. Oh, hello. Getting stuck in the floor. Nice. Give me the box. Oh, I see the Mark II in there. We've got an RPD. Not bad, not bad. Honestly, on ones like this, I kind of just want to uh, spam through the round because, yeah, it doesn't look like it's changing the attachments at all. On a regular BO3 weapon, it would probably work. But this map is, you know, all custom weapons. When a player slides, player takes one damage. Wait, what the fuck? Really? I'm taking... I'm, I take one damage when I slide. What's the point? What is the point in that? Like, there's literally over 500 possible combinations that you can have for this mod, and we're just getting absolutely trolled right now with, like, very minuscule, weird things. So I guess if we slide and we're red screen, maybe we just die. Maybe that's the gimmick. Oh, the death machine, hello. It's in the floor, kind of. I don't actually know what perks are on this map, but, you know, we do have no perk limit and a wonder fizz machine over here. Maybe we say fuck it and give it a spin? What are we gonna get? Come on, give me... Headshot daiquiri. Oh boy, I'm so glad that I spun that. All right, when a player swaps weapons, wall buys are randomized. Oh my god, so the wall buys are just getting fucking rolled right now. Yeah, we've got an M14, swap. Now it's an MP5, swap. 
Now, is it Olympia? Yeah, those are the only three wall buys on this whole map, so... At least the Galvanuckles don't change. Honestly, wall buy prices, if we could have got, like, cheaper Galvanuckles, that would have been really nice. It seems like they're still 6,000. That's the beauty of this mod, though. Like, you could just get really bad RNG and just get absolutely nothing good. Or you could get something completely OP. I mean, I don't know many of the bad ones yet, so I'm kind of excited to see. But I am wanting a bit more variety, so come on, next round. Give me something actually unique and different. All right, here we go. Come on, when player takes damage, give a random gun. Finally, something actually cool. Okay, so if we hold out our type 25, when we take damage, we get a gun. So, like, even burn damage? <laughs> the python? Oh, just run over here. Oh, and I have an executioner now. Run over here. Oh, and I've got a dragon off. What the fuck? I don't remember this in BO2. What are we going to get now? The Barrett? We're just going through all the snipers. Okay. Executioner again. Eh. You know, this gun was, like, cool, but at the same time, the reload's just ridiculous. The Foul? Wait, this looks like, uh... Is this the modern war? Oh, it's the BO2 Foul. But, like, the multiplayer one. Very interesting. Okay. Still very mediocre, though. The War Machine. Wait, this looks like the Cold War one. Oh, it's gone. M8A7. Hello. The Scar H with the Scar is on this map? I actually kind of want to keep this. Let's uh, switch to the RPD. I'm assuming explosion damage is going to count too. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Ow, ow, slap me. Fucking M8A7. Imagine if we could get like the ray gun from this. That'd be kind of sick. A 5-7. Oh, of course. My iconic favorite gun. On this map anyway. Type again. The ray gun. What the fuck? That's so cool. So I just- I got the ray gun for totally free. Wait, no! <laughs> That's so tragic! Oh my god! Oh, I got the M-Tart and I'm just- I'm actually gonna have an addiction now and I have to keep fucking damaging myself till I get it back. That's so annoying! The AK-47? Honestly, I want to keep that over the fucking scar. Come on, slap me. The Galil. M8A7 again. Come on, any year now. We've got a hammer. You know, I love the hammer, but I'm sorry. I just I have an addiction. I need this ray gun back. Just constantly running over fire, dude. My poor fucking toes are going to be like toasty. 5-7 dual wield. Oh, I'd love to keep it, but sorry, man. I got priorities. If we had mule kick, it would be easier, but we kind of got to spin RNG it, you know? Keep getting the fucking M8A7, dude. Imagine if we've got a Mark II as well. I think there's a chance we probably can get it, but I imagine it's very, very low. There we go, dude. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now just don't fucking damage me. All right, we're good. When a zombie dies, gain 10% of your total points? What the fuck? That's so overpowered. What? So you're telling me when I when a zombie dies, when I kill a zombie, I'm going to gain 10% of my points, which is I have 8,800 right now. So I just got like a thousand points. Huh? And again, oh my God, I'm rich. I'm so rich, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? There's no fucking way. There's no... What? I already have 26k. I mean, I know I can get the vice versa and it fucking give me, like, lose 10% of your total points, but what? Oh my god, do the nukes count as well? They don't count. No, I'm not getting points for those. That's kind of tragic. Well, we're rich as fuck now. I mean, let's pack a bunch of the Reagan, I suppose. Boom, gimme, gimme. The Porter's Reagan. This camo looks kind of nice, actually. It's not too bad. All right, what's this one going to be? When a door is purchased, player's gun gets a random camo. Wait, does that count for the Reagan? It just turned red. Okay. Well, that's kind of tragic. Uh, can we open that door? Maybe. Does this, this is going to count? Boom. Oh, I, I fucking missed anyway. It doesn't look like it's opening it regardless. Okay, dude. Well, I now just lost my, my camo. My gun. Cool. My ray gun is now just very red again. I don't think we have any more doors, so... This is why I love this mod, though, dude. It, there's so much variety. It can get so crazy. Like, I was worried when we first started this on this map because it was, like, a little bit boring, some of them. And they were kind of repeating, but then we just got that fucking, the points one. Well, fuck it, dude. Let's go pack a punch our AK. All right, now I've got to actually grab it. Ooh, shit. Let me get it. There we go. Ah! Reznov's Revenge. It would have been cool to see what the, uh, the uh, AK would have looked like with the camo. When a player slides, a random perk is lo I just lost my jug! No! Right as I slid. You're, you're taking the piss. Bro, well, fuck me, I guess. All right, let's just, uh, fuck it, we'll, we'll just spin this. We'll spin this, come on. Give me something decent. I've got electric cherry. That's not what I would call decent, necessarily. I just slipped. I hate my life, I hate my life, I hate my life, I hate my life. I just lost it. I just lost it. I have to just keep my hand off the slide key. Holy fuck. 
it's just it's a, it's a natural like instinct to just slide whenever you play <laughs> i can't believe i just fucking lost that i'm so dumb i'm so dumb i'm so d i'm so stupid almost sliding to go and get that double points as well Oh, I'm almost going down as well because I fucking don't have Jug anymore, do I? This is by far, like, the worst one just because my muscle memory brain just got completely dicked. Got a crawler somewhere? I fucking hear a crawler. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, where the fuck were you? Oh, I ran another one. Oh, hello. All right, when a player loses a thousand plus points, wall buys are randomized. I mean, I have to go buy Jug, so... It looks like it's going to just randomize anyway. The nice thing is, though, some of them stack on top of each other. So, like, the wall by prices, if you change it, then they just stay like that forever until you get another one that changes it. Oh, PhD's on this map. Well, that's kind of neat. Let's just uh, keep on spinning for now. Come on, what are you going to give me? Electric Cherry! I remember I just lost it, didn't I? <laughs> LOL. I've noticed they kind of run faster, honestly, on this map. Maybe, maybe that's a coding thing. It just made them run super fast. All right, let's go to the next one. I want to have something different, bro. I don't care about wall buys, man. I'm not even going to buy any fucking things off the wall. All right, here we go. When a perk is purchased, a, zomb a random zombie triggers an AAT. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm about to purchase some more perks. So does that mean it's just going to, like, trigger something? Okay, I'm, I'm purchasing it. So anything going to happen? Maybe Wonder Fizz doesn't count. I've got stamina up there. Um, anything? Oh, yeah, fireworks. <laughs> Wait, that's that's kind of funny. I'm going to go pick up Speed Cola really quickly because, ooh, yeah, I want to fucking reload faster. Oh my god, yeah, Blast Furnace just went off somewhere. What the fuck? Oh yeah, let's buy the Galvan, of course. We might as well. I don't even think it's a one hit anymore, but just why not? Yeah, it's not even a one hit. I, I've missed out, dude. Could have bought them on an earlier round when I got all those fucking points. We don't have Mule Kick yet. Uh, let's get Quick Revive, actually. Trigger some more AATs. Yep, there's another Blast Furnace randomly across the map. So what perks do we need? We need Widow's Wine. And I think, what else is there? Something else. When a door is purchased, give a random gobble gum. Oh, that would have been so nice, but there's no more doors, dude. Fucking F, dude. That's the benefit of doing it on bigger maps sometimes. Wait, PhD gives you fire immunity? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. And I forgot the slide just gives like a massive explosion. Oh my god. Yeah, and there's no splash damage, of course, when we fire this, which is really nice for the ray gun. Oh god, but it doesn't stop the fucking explosion damage. Even though I feel like it should, considering what PhD is meant to do. All right, when a player swaps weapons, five zombies spawn? Wait, no way. I kind of want to try it. I'm swapping weapons? Oh my god. Have I just cursed myself? What the fuck? This actually sounds terrifying, because I've already swapped weapons, like, twice. Oh shit. I just swapped weapons again, I just realized. Oh my god, we might actually break the game. If they keep on spawning when we have, like, the max number of zombies on the map at one time... Oh no. <laughs> I don't want a connection interrupted, dude. But I, I'm tempted to just keep doing it, man. Okay, it doesn't look like it's spawning anymore. How many zombies do we even have, bro? I don't know, this seems like a lot. Let's just, let's just shoot them. <laughs> We're gonna have so many. Oh yeah, zombie counter at the bottom. Yep, it just goes up by five each time. Oh my god. So we can just make round 16 extremely long. Let's uh, let's try not to swap any weapons then, because oh, I don't want to be here all day. So if we run out of ammo, we are actually screwed, because we have to just spawn another five. Oh my god, this fucking ray gun's putting in work at least. What happened to that zombie? All right, pew, pew, pew. It's nice actually using the ray gun for once. That would have been like the end of the round, but nope, we've got... Another 30 fucking zombies. I wonder if buying a perk is going to count as swapping weapons as well because you get rid of your gun temporarily. I'm not even going to risk it, bro. I'm getting low on ammo as well. Please, soon. Only 15 zombies left. Six. Okay, here we go. Right, where's the last one? Please, where are you? Here we go. Oh my god, the round finally ended. When a zombie dies, wall by prices are randomized. Ah, again, kind of just meh. Let's go buy the last few perks we need. I'm gonna use this fucking AK. Finally, we get to use the AK. Oh, what's this on the wall? Kind of like comic books, interesting. Uh, what did we get? Widows. My whole game just lagged for a second. That was strange. Ow. Trying to buy perks in the middle of the round, I wouldn't say is necessarily ideal, but it's fine. What do we get? Mule kick? Oh god, I just want my mule kick, bro. Please! Any more perks we can get? Nope, that's all of them. Ten fucking perks. I'm stuck in this room! Get me out! Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. Give me the... Uh, give me... Yes. Prices are gonna be randomizing constantly. No wonder it's fucking lagging. 
This is literally every zombie kill. Like, yeah, we're almost done with this round compared to last round. That was just so fucking long. Holy shit. And you're the last four. There we go. When a zombie dies to a grenade, give a random gobble gum. Okay, okay. I mean, Widow's wine grenades are kind of shit, to be honest. But we can try and do it. Here we go. There's one zombie hit. Maybe we just, like, get a horde and throw all four of them in. I think that's the play, actually. I have to not get hit because it will trigger. Okay. All right, double back on the training spot here. Okay, this is, like, most of them. Right. Now we'll throw grenades. One, two, three. Any kills? I didn't kill a single zombie. Oh, there we go. Temporal gift. Active for one full round. Power-ups last longer. Okay. And that was the only... That was it. That was it, dude. So if they die to, like, the uh, the webs, it actually does count as a grenade kill, which is nice. But yeah, um, I think <laughs> that's about all she wrote because we don't have any more grenades. I wonder if claymores count. I mean, here we go. Let's have a look, shall we? Throw the claymores down. Oh, oh it, is, it does work. i got a stock option. Ah, okay. That's quite neat. I like stock option as well because, you know, obviously you can just shoot, hip fire, you don't have to reload. So it's quite useful. Oh yeah, and we have mule kick now. We can actually go and spin the box again. So we've been sitting on these fucking two guns for ages now. Right, what are we going to get? Mule kick gun. If we could get the Mark II, that'd be kind of sick. No, we got a foul again. I mean, eh, it ain't bad, but it ain't anything special. We could try... A dragon off. Oh, it's kind of cool they have the BO1 weapons like mixed in here. Oh, we have a lot of crawlers, it seems. Dual 5.7s. Oh, fuck it, dude. For old times' sake, we'll use them. Give them a pack a punch. What are we gonna get? What's the camo gonna look like? Kind of meh, but it's fine. Where are these goddamn crawlers, bro? It's like in the floor. Jesus Christ. When a zombie dies, the mystery box moves. Oh, well, rip in pieces. That shit's gonna be gone any minute now. That's, um, oh my god, I just killed- wait, but I just spun the box. Please? Oh, an RPG. In before I've bugged it now. I think a, do a zombie died to my claymore, but I just put down, so... Oh yeah, the 5-7 dual wheel isn't actually doing too much damage. Sag. Oh no, it's fine. You just gotta spam it quite fast. Yeah, here we go, the fucking- there's the box. So yeah, every kill it will spin the box and then give a teddy bear, like, every single time. So, needless to say, the box is going to be gone. Oh yeah, we have stock option. Wait, we can just... Yeah, this is kind of sick. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, that's really satisfying, actually. Oh, and we're out of ammo. <laughs> so, never mind. Uh, never mind. Only nine zombies left. We've got a fire sale. And the round's basically done as well. What are we going to get? When a player takes damage, player speed is randomized. You're joking, right? Player speed. Oh, use the mystery box a hundred times. Hey, let's go. 5-7 dual wield back again. I kind of wanted to swap it out because I have no ammo. And I got a cap 40. Are you trolling me? Okay, dude. I mean, it fires fast as shit, but when a player takes damage... Okay, so how fast am I going to run now? Okay, decent speed. What about now? Oh my god, I'm so slow. No. Oh, hey, there we go. Now we're running fast as shit. Wait, that's so cool. I mean, it could also be extremely detrimental because if you were... Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm fine. I'm slow as shit again. Please, slap me once. There we go. Yeah, you could just get really unlucky and turn into a fucking turtle. Oh my god, that one's so fast. Wait, what the fuck? I want to keep this one. I mean, I want to I wanna experiment and see how fast I actually am running. Oh my god. Yep, that's pretty fast. Oh god, I got to switch. Ray gun time. All right, there's one left. I can actually showcase it. Holy fuck. Look at... Cold War stamina would be like. Oh my god. Fucking new... Like, that's actually insane. I'm guessing it... it Fixes. Oh, I thought it stayed for a second. And we're back on the fucking gumball ones, dude. This mod is actually just awesome. This might be my new favorite mod. I want to try this on something like fucking Origins, dude, and to see how chaotic that shit would get. Because Origins is a massive map, so, like, some of them, even when it's just the wall by stuff, it will actually uh, affect it more, you know? I love just being a maniac with the Reagan and PhD. That's the main reason I missed PhD, honestly, and, like, BO3 and stuff. It made the Reagan just dog shit. Especially with AATs, you know, alternate ammo types. What is the point of using anything other than, like, a KN44 or an RK5 with, like, a dead wire? Right, got seven zombies left, huh? Oh, quick revive's playing. Let's go. You need a little oh my fucking god, every time. I can't go around a corner anymore in these games, bro. Oh, when a gumball is eaten, player's AAT is removed. Stop giving me the AAT ones, bro. I'm gonna pack a punch of the fucking cap 40, dude. I don't care, man. Give me the cap. 
The Karmic Atom Perforator 4000. What a fucking name, bro. Only thing I'm swapping it out for is if we get a Mark II. Or maybe a War Machine. Or just a fucking teddy bear, I suppose. You know, that works as well. Give me that death machine. Hello. Still a death trap because it slows you down. The cap 40 just isn't, it isn't bad, but it just, it's going to run out of ammo so fucking quick, but it's just not even worth keeping. That's the issue. If we had Cold War Mule Kick where I could like pick up ammo off the floor, sure, it would actually be kind of decent, but like, look at this, bro. Already I'm like halfway through the ammo. Basically done. Oh God, we've got a lot of zombies here. Ah, we're fine. Let's just go up here. Come on, box. What are you going to treat me to today, huh? Uh, another teddy bear? Wait, what the fuck? Did I actually glitch it? I think I glitched it because I fucking, I used it before and it hasn't, oh no. Am I going to be trolled for the rest of the game? There's one zombie left. I guarantee it's a fucking crawler, isn't it? Yep, here he is. There's always one, bro. When a player lose has, loses 300 plus points, speed is randomized. Okay, well, purchase the box. I'm a turtle. I'm a turtle, bro. And I got another teddy in his bugged. I, I ruined it. I screwed it, bro. And I can't even fucking move anymore. And I've already got 40 shots in my ray gun. Oh my God, I'm doomed. I'm doomed. I, ca I can't get away. I, what do I do? I don't know. What I only have like so many shots left, bro. I can't train the zombies. I can't just run around them. Oh, just, just fucking just go in the middle and train. With what, bro? Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, I'm just dead. Like, what? Oh my god, and I can't even, like, purchase the fucking mystery box again because it moved, so I can't randomize my speed again. Oh, uh, give me the, the Olympia. Oh my god. It's the M14 anyway. What the fuck is going on? How am I alive? How am I alive? How am I alive? <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? What? Wait. It just happened to make me the, the fucking flash, apparently. But now I've got an M14 to deal with all the fucking zombies. So that's just tragic. And it's doing, like, no damage. How am I supposed to, like, how do I buy this, you know? Oh, and if I buy the fucking Packer Punch. I'm a snake again, bro. No. I died to the fucking fire. That's actually the most comical way we could have possibly died. That was like the best ending to any zombies game I think I've ever had. That was fucking hilarious. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out this video of me doing the exact same mod on Call of the Dead. It was also really fun. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.